I found this post on Twitter pretty interesting. This is from a developer on, in GitHub, and he's saying, we're finally finished removing jQuery from github.com front end. What did we replace it with? No framework whatsoever. Now, I find it ironic that the company that hosts the code for all these JavaScript UI frameworks is not even using them for its own front end. The reason is that frameworks add complexity to code, so sometimes it's better not to use them at all. In this example, I'll be using a calculator that was made using React, using Create React App, and compare it to my vanilla JavaScript calculator. This is just one example of a UI framework that adds complexity, but they all do in some form. So just go ahead and type uh, GitHub React Calculator, and go to the first link, and just download the zip file. And I should have it here. I'm just going to double click it to unzip it. I'll delete the zip. And then I'll go to my terminal. And I will type npm install. This will install all the dependencies that it uses into a directory called node modules. So if you look, it created this directory. And inside this directory are all the dependencies that it's using. OK, I'd like to compare my uh, calculator that I wrote in vanilla JavaScript and HTML to the calculator that we downloaded from GitHub that uses Create React App. So let me just load my calculator. And I'll load the, the React calculator. So functionally, they're about the same. You know, I'll let you check it out later, but I, I also added a, a link in the description of the source code for this uh, vanilla calculator. And now let's check out the important part. If I go to get info on this directory, that the calculator in React versus my vanilla JavaScript calculator, um, I basically have one file that takes 4K. Here in this calculator, you have 226 megabytes with 32,525 items. Now if I, let's go to that directory. Okay, so this is the vanilla one and this is the directory that holds the React app. And if you'll see, uh, node modules is where it holds all the dependencies. Source is basically where you'd write all your code. Public is just a shell HTML file that hosts this code. And you have a, a bunch of other configuration files. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about is, well, just notice, first of all, how many files there are compared to, to mine. It's just, mine is just very simple. It's just one file. But here, um, if you notice, and this is generally true for, for both Angular and React, but they like to separate everything into components. See where you'd have like a button component and you'd have a display component. Whereas if you look at the code of mine, let me just open up Sublime. You'll see that I don't really have components, I just have divs. So I don't, for simple apps like this, I don't really like to have components unless, I mean, unless I really need to have a component. But generally, if it's just like a box that I click, I don't, I don't feel a need to, to have a component. So I just put everything in as boxes. And it works just as well. So another thing to keep in mind is that my uh, calculator, it's just interpreted. Oops, let me just open Sublime again. But basically the code that runs, and it's just this one file that has both HTML and, and JavaScript in it. But basically this gets run line by line in the browser, interpreted. Whereas the React app, it, it gets compiled. And by that I mean, well right now it's doing it in memory, but if I go to, so let me go to my desktop calculator master npm run script build. This is the build that, that you'd basically put in production. And 
it basically takes all of the modules and all the source code and it, it bundles it all up into one file. And it's this file right here, which takes, takes about 127 kilobytes. And it still has a few more static files and stuff like that. Altogether, that's still significantly higher than just vanilla JavaScript, which took about 4K. This takes 127K, just this one file. And it does have a build process. Because you're using React, it has to go through a transpiler like Babel to convert JSX into JavaScript. And then it uses Webpack to combine all those files into one file, as I showed you earlier. Whereas this doesn't really have any of that. It just runs right away in the browser. So it's significantly simpler.